Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Yes. Oh, fine. So today we are going to study unit 13, but before we study unit 13, we need to check that we need 12 student book and work book homework, right? Okay, guys. So student book first. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, no. Work book first. Okay. Well, it is first. Yeah. Work book. Work book. Okay, let's check the answer. So everybody gets the red pencil. Green pencil is okay. Okay, so Ellie, number one, this fork is? Bent. Yes, this fork is bent. Mm. Mm. Can I have a new one? Okay. Good. And number two is we are in time to see the clock mm. movie. Very good. We are in time to see the travel clock movie and Dorothy. Number three, the airplane has two uh, pilots and a lot of passengers. Yes, two pilots and a lot of passengers. And number four, rest. If you grab the stick too hard, you might break it. Uh, if you grab the stick too hard, you might break it. Good. And then, no, Ellie, choose the best word for each blank. Number one, Ellie, they will wait. Yeah, they will wait a special flag to start the race. And number two, Dorothy, because the handle break, the mm -hmm. button broke. The bicycle didn't <gasps> Oh my god. Uh, because the uh, handle no, brakes. Brakes. Brakes yeah. broke. Brake. Brakes broke. Uh -huh. So the bicycle didn't stop. Not handle. Right? My teacher Ali. Mm. I like this. Yes. And the handle. Uh -huh. like it, but I thought. Oh yeah, I saw that. So you got the answer. Right? Answer, right? Okay. okay. And Ellie, number three, if you keep walking along this yes, path. along this path. Uh, along this path. Good. And choose a word that has a similar or opposite meaning of the underlying word. Number one, Wes, this TV program. I chose. Yes, yeah, TV show is about famous family. And Dorothy, a man tried to uh, push the door. What is the opposite word for push? Yes, push and pull, right? Push and pull. Like, pushing is like a this way, right? But pull is it this way, right? Yeah. Okay, next page. Writing practice. So, Ellie, number one, after look for someone to help. But no one was around. Yes, but no one was around. And rest, number two, he knew something was wrong and Yes, pushed hard on the brakes. And Dorothy, his house was close to the railroad, so he walked home from school along the tracks. Yes, he walked home from school along the tracks. And rest. People from a TV station came to his town to make a program about him. Yes, to make a program about him. Good. Okay, so Ellie. Number B, unscramble the sentences. So number one, a train would pass by many passengers waiting. No, no, no. A train with many passengers would pass by. Yes, would pass by him. A train with many passengers. A train has many, many passengers. So a train with many passengers would pass by him. Okay, and Dorothy, number two, he he worried that many people would get hurt. Uh, good. He worried that many people would get hurt. Good. And last, number three, then he ran down to the tracks toward the train. Good. Then he ran down the tracks toward the train. Okay. And Ellie, last word, number four, after had to save the hundreds of the lives of. Mm -hmm. Had to save the lives, the lives of hundreds of people. Oh. Mm -hmm. After had it saved the lives of hundreds of people. Oh, yay. You got one more that? Yes. Good. Okay. After has saved the lives of hundreds of people. 
Okay, good. So close the workbook. So now the step book. The page is 78, right? So, Dorothy, read the sentence for the summary part. A young boy named Arthur mm -hmm. was walking home from school along some train tracks. Mm -hmm. He saw that the track was bent. Mm -hmm. He knew that the train's wheels would come off the tracks and that the passengers would get hurt. Okay, good. And that's he, he had to do something. He tried his best but to escape and ran down the track railing. Mm -hmm. When the driver stopped, he knew something was wrong and stopped the train just time. Arthur was a hero. Yes, he stopped the train just in time. Arthur was a hero. Okay, and Ellie, review the keyword number one. He has a fear of heights. Good, fear of high places. And number two, Ellie again. There are many passengers on the bus. Good, there are many passengers on the bus. And last, the number three, hurry up. Or you won't get there in time. Good, won't get there in time. And Dorothy, number four, she was? Bend her own arms to get my attention. Bend her arms? Bend her? No, waving her arms. Like this, waving her arms is right like this, waving. Waving her arms to get my attention. Waving. Number five, rest. His back was bent from carrying heavy bars. <gasps> oh no, his back was bent from carrying heavy bars. It hmm? very hurts. Yes. Mm. Okay, and number six, Ellie, the park. The park is close to my house. Mm -hmm. so I walk there. Yes, yeah, so I walk there. And number seven, last I grabbed my hat before the wind could blow it away. Good. I grabbed my hat before the wind could blow it away. Good job, everybody. So guys, now the vocabulary list. The vocabulary. Vocabulary unit thirteen. Hmm. So, unit 13 is about the coldest place on earth. Hi. Do you think, what do you think, where is the coldest place on the earth? Yes, Arctic oh. and the Antarctica, right? Oh. Antarctica, 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 right? Oh. Mm, yes. Hi. So, what is number one word? Dorothy? Located. Located. Found in a car certain place, then in a certain place. Mm. <laughs> right. So still memorize it. Located is it? Found in a certain place. Right. Uh, where is it? S N C T is it located where? Nichiang? Yes. Yes. Mm. Right. You are the social station, right? S N C T is it located near social station, right? So location is it found in a place? Found in a place. Okay. And next to Ellie, what is the second word? Um, consider. Yeah, consider. To what think is, of um, something in a certain way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Think of something. Think. Think of something more. Is it consider? Okay. Thinking. Thinking is it consider. I like think. Mm, I think is almost same words. And then what is third word? Be made of of to have something as a part. Hmm. Be made up of. You say have something as a part. Or he turned uh. into a phrase. Oh yes, this is a phrase. Guys, uh, think about pizza. Hmm. A pizza is it made up of bread ah. and the toppings, right? Uh, on the pizza bite, on the pizza, there is a bread and there is a cheese on it, or sometimes there is a ham uh, and pepperoni and there is a mushrooms on it, right? The pizza is made up of cheese, bread, and vegetables and hams, right? So, so made up of it, have something as a part. 
Okay, and um, Dorothy, what is for it for? Uh, frozen. Frozen! Huh? Turn to eyes. Guys, you know what is frozen? Yeah. The famous animation. Yes, frozen. Yeah, that's right. Frozen. Guys, everybody see, everybody see this frozen, right? One and two, right? Everything. Good. And Ellie, what is next to her? A piece and a part. Uh huh. A piece, not a song. Okay, guys. Part is a piece. Part a piece. Just one thing. One part. And number six. Last one is number six. Around. Uh huh. To be on our side. Okay. Surround. Is it? To be all sound side. Okay, so guys, when you go to the forest, when you go inside the forest, what are the trees? You are surrounded by the trees, right? Surround is something you do near my near me. Like when when I go to the forest, inside the forest, the trees are surrounded by me, right? Korea is surrounded by sea. Yes, Korean. Yes, yes like sir. Korea. Yes, this is China. And then there is a Korea here. Mm -hmm. It's my drawing. So this is North Korea and this is South Korea. And here this Korea is surrounded by sea, right? Oh, good. Good example. Good surround. Oh, and seven continent is it one of the world's largest areas of land. Yes, Asia, Europe. And where? Uh, Africa and America and Australia. Australia, yes. Yeah, those things are continents, right? Seven continents. Continent. Yes, we have seven continents, right? And number eight. Number eight. What number eight? Huge. Something very big is huge, right? Huge. 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 You know, huge. Huge. Or huge. Yeah. Okay. And what is number nine? Reason. Reason. Reason is something that explains why. Why? Why? Mm. And guys, temperature, temperature is how hot or cold. Temperature, how wow. hot or cold. So, today temperature is 24 degrees. Temperature, okay? And, uh, 24 Celsius, and number 11, drop. Become lower. Drop is like uh, yes. Like uh, this. It's uh, drop. Yes, this is drop. And the native, guys, native is it? Four area, right? Circle, four area. Okay, yeah. so Dorothy, Ellie, and Beth, you are native Korean. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you three were born in Korea, right? So native. Me too, I'm native Korean. But hi, how about Bruce teacher? England. Yes, he is from England, so he is native English. Right? Native English teacher. Got it? So guys, this is Friday, we are going to take the vocabulary, right? Vocabulary test. Hi, so now the student book page 79. And let's do the new words. Mm. 79. Or cold something is? G and 
temperature. Yes, the temperature. And that's born and raised in a certain area. P, native. Native. We just say native Korean, right? And Ellie, to think of something in a certain way? Consider. Good, consider. And Dorothy, one of the words one of the world's largest areas of land? F continent. Uh, okay, F continent. Okay, guys, so next page. Yeah. Guys, turn to the next page. <gasps> there is a cute penguin on the picture. <laughs> and cute polar bear. Yeah. Polar bear, they look so cute, aren't they? Polar bear. Mm, polar bear. Yeah. So guys, right. the coldest places on Earth, Arctic, Arctic is North Pole, and Antarctica is South Pole, right? So guys, right. I'm going to read the patterns for you, so just follow what I'm reading. The Arctic and Antarctica are located at the North and South ends of the Earth. Hi, right. on the line here. The Arctic and Antarctica are located at the north and south end of the earth. Ends of oh, end is it, the last part. The Arctic is it, north and Antarctica is it, south. It's a far, a far from the top. Yes, so they are here, here, right? At the end. So they are similar in many ways. For example, they are both so dry that they are considered desert. Guys, right, underline here. They are both so dry that they are considered desert. Yeah. And plus, yeah. both places have two seasons only: wow. a cold summer and a colder winter. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, there is no summer, right? Guys, right, underline here too. Plus, both places have two seasons, a cold summer and a colder winter. Cold summer and cold winter. Cold winter. Cold winter. Yes. Okay. And there is a big difference between them though. Okay. The Arctic is made up of frozen ocean and part of the continent that surround it. I underline here. Right. Circle, Arctic, and the underline is made about frozen ocean and part of the continent that surrounded it. Okay. And Antarctica, by circle, Antarctica too. Circle, Antarctica, on the other hand, is a continent. It is a huge ice covered island surrounded by oceans. Okay, so Arctic is made of a frozen ocean and Antarctica is a huge ice covered island surrounded by oceans. Okay, so those are the big difference. So next page, guys, Antarctica is also colder than the Arctic. Guys, on the line here too. Antarctica is colder than the Arctic. There are two reasons for this. So first of all, Antarctica is much higher and has many tall mountains. I on the line here. Antarctica is much higher and it has many tall mountains on the line. Yeah. Oh, the higher the land, the lower temperature. So Antarctica it has many tall mountains. Everest? Like uh, Everest, but not Everest. And also, the water of the Arctic Ocean is warmer than the ice above it. I right, underline here. The water of the Arctic Ocean is warmer than the ice above it. So, Arctic Ocean is warmer than the ice. It keeps the Arctic temperature from dropping too low. And another difference is the people that live there. Many native people have been living in the Arctic for those years. Hi, on the line here. Many native people have been living in the Arctic for thousands of years. However, 
Antarctica has never had any native people. Only some scientists and researchers live there. Finally, there are very few plants and animals in Antarctica. There are no land mammals, guys, on the line here. There are very few plants and animals in Antarctica. There are no land mammals because it's too cold to live there. There are only birds, including millions of penguins. Guys, so on the Antarctica, a lot of penguins live in the Antarctica, okay? And there aren't many penguins in the Arctic, but many land animals live there, including reindeer and foxes. I on the line here. There aren't any penguins in the Arctic, but many land animals live there, including reindeer and foxes. The best Arctic land animal is a polar bear. Okay, so guys, let's do it one more time. So, this is Arctic, and here is Antarctica. Uh -huh. activity here. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Guys, so, can you do the next page? Oh, okay. okay. So the next page, main idea. What is climate? Climate. Climate is it temperature. Climate is temperature. Below, below, below. It means under, under. Oh, 
ocean water. Mm -hmm. Ocean water below, below the eyes. Yes, guys. That's right. Number C is the answer. So the ocean water temperature is warmer than the ice, right? So the Arctic is not that cold like the Arctic. Okay, guys. Right, the next place. Okay. Oh, okay. the next question. Oh, the next question. Okay. So, Sophie, what is the Arctic made up of? The Arctic made up of a frozen ocean and parts of the continent. Good part, part of the continent is around it. Good. And this. Who lives in Antarctica today? In Antarctica, the scientists live in. Scientists and the researchers live here. The what is researchers? Researchers is the first of the people like the scientists. Mm -hmm. Research, research something. Researchers. Okay, guys. And next page, practice the skill, guys. Do this together. So, the Arctic. As for the Arctic, many native people live in the Arctic. What? Okay. Yes, as for Arctic, many people, many native people live in Arctic. And many plants and mammals like the polar bears live in Arctic. And frozen oceans surrounded by continents. Cold and dry and cold summer and cold winter is both sides. The cold summer, what is cold summer? Summer is it cold. <laughs> yes, one, two, three. But on Antarctica, there's no native people, only scientists and researchers. And it's surrounded by the oceans, it has high mountains, and there's no mammals. But there's a penguin and some plants. Guys, right. penguin is not mammal, right? They lay the eye, they, they lay eggs. The mammal is like a polar bear. Because polar bear, the baby cub, the baby bear, they drink the milk from their mom, so so what? Oh. Mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just studied the unit thirteen. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town.